Welcome to Vista Heritage and look, we have the completely new MG4. I'm Ben Quirk, welcome to Planet Auto. This is a completely new chapter for MG in my mind. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep into this because this is just our first look at the UK launch. And one thing we've seen from Psyche over the last, well, I think it's five years we've been doing MGs. I mean, we've cut our teeth on the GS and then it was the MG3 and then the ZS's. And in such a short time, they've come up with this, the new face of MG on a completely new platform. So this is built specifically for EVs. So the thing is, it won't eat up any extra space in the cabin. After driving it just a short distance around Bista Heritage, wow. So believe it or not, this will cost you, get this, that's a fair saving on say a similar model to this with an electric powertrain. You can go for an SE, you can go for a trophy and you can get a standard range battery and you can get a long range battery and they will charge up to 135 kilowatt, which is a fair chunk quicker than the last ones. This isn't the only one either. There's a rather special one coming next year, but I don't want to give too much away. Just look at the design language. I mean, you can see some of the inspiration from say the new MG5. Big prominent MG badge. I can see a 360 camera. And as you'd expect, you get MG Pilot, you get LED lights, depending on which trim you go for. And you get a vehicle that'll stand out. And more to the point, you'll get a vehicle that is, well, I still can't believe the price. Don't you just love Bista Heritage with vehicles like that, just driving around? The MG4 is rear-wheel drive, and you've got four levels of regen. You access it through the infotainment screen. Now, you can also remap your steering wheel so that you can access your driving modes and the regen on wheel. With the driving modes, you've got custom, standard, snow, sport, and eco. Sleep modern styling, some rather smart alloys. And if you've noticed, they're designed in a way for efficiency. I can see as I climb in that I've got blind spot detection and quarter lights, one of my favourites. I'm not going to go too far into this to be honest. You can have a quick taste of look now and then watch out for our full review. But everything, well, just look at it. I mean you will find hard plastics but you find lots of soft too. It's just a whole new level. Let's take a quick look in the back. We do have one coming in September, October, and we're going to do, well, you've guessed it, one heck of a road trip. It could be the length and breadth of Britain. It could be depths of Scotland. The thing is, it's going to have to be pretty damn special because as you know, most of our road trips are going to places like Goodwood. So that's the one thing you can rely on. It's going to be mind blowing. Good afternoon and welcome to Bista Heritage. We're behind the wheel of the brand new MG4. So you can get SE and you can get Trophy and you can get Standard Range and you can get Long Range. And you get lots of fun things like MG Pilot. That's a decent turning circle, that. So essentially, this is our first look. Look at this place. We've been wanting to come here for a while, haven't we? We have, and to experience it in the rather silent and refined MG4. Well, it's something different, isn't it? Indeed. MG4? MG4. I was going to say, we may see a few MG4s. So the range, I think it's about 217 with a standard range, and then closer to 280 with a long range. My word. Responsive power. I mean, you do expect that from an electric motor anyway. But go. Oh, it's certainly got that to... Hasn't it? Oh. Oh, this will pull for in, wouldn't this? Decent regen. Wow, an MG3, Annabelle. How the vehicles have changed. I mean, I suppose that was the beginning, wasn't it? It certainly was for us. Whereas this, well, it's a new era, isn't it? 
it is certainly the next level for MG, yeah. especially in Europe and this country. But the steering, it's nice and weighty, lightens up when you're doing maneuvers. But if you look at the cluster and the infotainment screen, it's all very close to your hand. And this is like the perfect cluster size. It just gives you the information you need. It doesn't like overwhelm you. So you can see your speedo. I can see I've got road sign recognition and you've got MG Pilot in here. So adaptive cruise, AEB, bicycle detection, pedestrian detection, and the list goes on. What I wanted to do was just familiarize myself and see how good the MG4 actually is. And so far, wow. I mean, even the design language, everything just looks far more sleek, modern, minimalist. And they've done such a good job. It's like a mid-segment car. Well, just the short time I've been in it, as a passenger, it's comfortable. I'm held well. I've got great visibility. Yeah. It's ticking all the boxes. Suspension feels good. Irons out bumps with absolutely no problem. I think that's it. We can't really say much more because otherwise... We'll be encroaching onto what we're doing on the full review. Exactly. And do expect something pretty spectacular. From first appearances, it's comfortable, it's very good value, and it's a completely new direction for MG. It'll be interesting to see how well this does. I reckon it's going to be their best seller. <laughs>